In this short video, I'll show you how to set up your new Arsenal 2 Pro or Arsenal 2 Standard with your Android phone. Before we get started, if you're working with one of the cameras listed here, then first check out your camera's specific setup video linked below to make sure that you have a few simple settings configured correctly to work with Arsenal. After that's finished, continue on with this video. Now let's see what comes in the Arsenal box. Along with the Arsenal device, you also receive a curly USB cable to connect Arsenal to your camera, as well as a long straight USB cable to charge your Arsenal. US and Canada customers also get a charger wall plug. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure that Arsenal is charged. To do that, I can simply plug the long USB charging cable into either USB port on Arsenal, and plug the other end into the wall plug, or even a USB power bank or other powered USB port, like on your laptop or computer. You can see that when I plug Arsenal in to charge, a small orange light on top illuminates to tell me it's charging. With Arsenal 2, you can use either USB port for charging and connecting to your camera. They are interchangeable. I can do the rest of this setup while Arsenal is charging, so let's keep moving. The next step is connecting Arsenal to my Android phone. To do that, I need to download the Arsenal 2 app onto my phone by searching for Arsenal 2 within the Google Play Store. If you're upgrading from Arsenal 1, hey, thanks for upgrading, and make sure you're using the new Arsenal 2 app. While I'm downloading the app, I'll quickly mount Arsenal onto the camera's hot shoe with the LED bar facing to the back of the camera. Then I can connect Arsenal to the camera with the included curly USB cable. After connecting it to Arsenal, just connect the other side to your camera's USB port. All right, the Arsenal app is finished installing. I can turn on my Arsenal by briefly pressing the power button and then open the Arsenal app on my Android phone. After pressing Get Started, the app will ask me to allow Arsenal 2 to access the device's location. The Arsenal app does not use your location. This just gives your phone permission to scan for nearby Wi-Fi networks. I tap while using the Arsenal app to allow this connection in the next step. On the connection screen, I can immediately see my new Arsenal. Mine is named Baritone Chipmunk 445. Nice. But each Arsenal ships with a unique name. After tapping Connect, the app asks for my permission to join the Arsenal Wi-Fi network. I tap Connect to join. Next, the app prompts me to update to the latest firmware. Tap Download and let Arsenal do its thing. In the future, firmware updates will be embedded within the Arsenal app, so you don't have to download it separately. This update process takes just a few minutes to complete. Once it's finished, it will take me to the connection screen again to connect to my Arsenal. I need to make sure that my camera is on, and that's it. You're ready to start shooting some amazing shots with Arsenal 2. When you're finished using Arsenal, briefly press the power button to turn it off, and don't forget to charge it before your next day of shooting. Visit the Arsenal Help Center at support.witharsenal.com if you run into any issues. And you can find more tutorial videos at witharsenal.com start.